Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In, In a handbasket. Hand and we're taking Nick with us. Hey everyone, welcome to Handbasket Gaming. My name's Corwin, that's Adam. This is our visitor Nick. We're having him sit into a few episodes. Because hey. he came up from the down south regions to come up to our <laughs> up north regions. We're playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh yeah, we're playing Breath of the Wild, that's you. <laughs> And, uh, he's about to go into, like, a wet oh, elephant. I think he's about to slide right into, uh, like, a moist Republican right here. So I think it's about to go on. <laughs> the, uh, my dead fish We're... girlfriend is explaining to me that I need to go in and, uh, get... She's explaining how the dungeon works, essentially. Um, that's, I see that's really chest. nice of her. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Well, she's, she's been a ghost in this dungeon for a hundred years. She's Rick and Morty, been, 100 she's years. Been inside of this? Oh, man. Rick and Morty.com, 100 years. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like, it, it's never fully explained how uh, how they're still, like, alive, but ghosts and whatever. This game really teaches you to go for the eyes. Like, it also eyes teaches are the number you one target in this game. All about crazy, goopy monsters. And look oh, at all the gear cool I scimitar. have now. Use a cool scimitar. I think that looks neat. All right. I will use the thing that looks neat because Corwin told me to. Oh, he's gonna bloop on you. Boom! Nice. Suck my elf dick! El you know, elves are known to have tiny penises. That's true. Yeah, but they get That's the job done. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just because there's It's like... not the size of the boat. Well, do you ever wonder why they live so long? <laughs> <laughs> they gotta have to perfect it, you know what I mean? Because they don't have the equipment to do that. That's the job. true, yeah. It takes that long uh, to get good, <laughs> scrub. <laughs> to get good, scrub. Get good, elf scrub. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> if you're with a girl and you're like midway through having sex and she's just like, get good, scrub. <laughs> you, that is friend. some weak sauce, we you son of a bitch. We all have a friend named Emily who I feel like would do that to... Uh, oh, absolutely. That is something she would do. Emily, shout out to you for having a ball like that. <laughs> attitude. That sounded more sexist than I meant to do, right? <laughs> I mean, she has balls, and she has a massive... I still love... That reminds me of my favorite ever Betty White quote. Oh, yeah? What did Betty White... So, first off, Betty White, if you're not aware of this, is the is the most fucking amazing person on the planet. Um, cuz she's like 90-ish. Mm -hmm. Uh, and at one point she came out and said she's just like, "Why does everyone talk about having balls as like being a thi like being a good thing?" It's like balls are exposed and small and weak and uh whereas a vagina can take a pounding. <laughs> and I'm just like, that's a really good point. And that's where, uh, I can't remember who, f who I first heard say, uh, that we should swap the, uh, swap the term and just, uh, refer to it as pussying up. It's just like, man, you're being weak right now. Pussy up. That's, that's a really, I'm going to try to do, let's try to do that. I like that. All right. <laughs> that's a good point, And I, I support that. Oh, it's about to squirt on you. Oh, this might be a different translation. I'll freeze frame that on the, uh. On um, the editing and see if it's a different translation. Bam. Squirt. Bam, squirt. So, Nick, let me ask you a question. Mm. Have you ever blown a load and then, it, like, it went so high in the air that it accidentally, like, landed, like, on your face or in the mouth if you weren't, like, aiming carefully? Wow. Uh, have you ever is... eaten your own jizz? Wow. Uh, no. Wow. Uh, okay, you haven't. For the, for the jugular question, no. But uh, just recently, hey, shout out to Kian because I'm gonna make you watch this. Yeah, uh, just recently, as in That's like girlfriend, a few days ago, uh, not yeah, his uncle. Yeah, hit the hit the hit the wall actually. Hit the hit wall. The, hit wall. the wall. Oh, were you really like, like, right up on the wall? Like, were you dick touching the wall? It's no, not no, as no, 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 no. Well, okay. I hit the wall. So that brings to mind a uh, a question that I have. Mm. Um, do like I know personally, I have a slight lilt to the left. What about you guys? Yeah, slightly like a little to the I left. I don't, man. Okay. Mine, mine's a, is a hard strong, ninety, hard ninety solid, to the right, <laughs> solid, uh, just like forward, uh, okay. <laughs> straight, straight and true. Always straight and true. Hmm. Yeah, it's always shooting straight. Where am I going? I don't know where to go. <laughs> Adam, didn't you once like, like, oh, did yeah, I hear okay. a story about you uh, <laughs> blowing a load and it came out the nose? 
No, I have never was... given anyone the angry walrus. <laughs> the angry walrus! <laughs> have you never heard that? No, no, that's a really wonderful please, term. Please, please continue. Give I, us the, I mean, give that's... Us the urban dictionary tell, tell, tell us about I, the angry walrus. I, I think it is as simple as that, is when you, uh... You... <laughs> Like you, you make the girl laugh at an inopportune time, and it comes out the nose. I could be wrong about that. In editing, I will correct myself if I'm wrong. But Can you also edit in a walrus that looks very unhappy. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll I'll do my best. I know that's I know that's extra work, but All right, where that's is... just my request. Give me the fucking. Give me the fucking. Dot com. So okay, yeah. So there's a. Uh, there's a different mechanic in each temple, mm -hmm. and like you get a little bit of control over the the dungeon that you're in. Like, and in this one, you can move his trunk around, and that's cool because you power up those water wheels and shit like that. And problem here that I'm having is I can't remember how to get up. I sound like Barack Obama a little <laughs> bit. Oh, there it is. Well, if you want to no, get up, there it is. No, what you got to do is get, get down with excited. the sickness. Oh. Well, your mother... Mother, get, up. get down with the sickness. All right, we're going to fast forward you know that, until that, I figure out where that I'm That singer... Going. Um, all right. <laughs> Damn. Found it! <laughs> all right, we're back again. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> you might want to leave that part in just because yeah, it's kind of funny. I absolutely I to lazily to the left there. Yeah, exactly. I got to follow the example of my dick. Just for, uh, anyway, the singer of uh, oh, the singer of, of Disturbed. Uh, after he like did release that album where he did that, uh, that voice that made him like really famous. He actually ripped up his vocal cords so badly that he could never sing that way again. Was it? That's why. Um, was it that, or was it like heroin? Because I know that like no, actually, he hard was, drugs I'm, will fuck up your vocal cords. Something they something will, fierce. but he actually it was is not like a drug dude. Oh, like he was. Uh, he's a very like dedicated musician. Interesting. Um, he uh, now, unfortunately, I can't remember his name, so I sound kind of like an idiot talking about it. Well, but no, um, it's, it's fine. His very next album that he released uh, was the one with "Prayer" was the main song, and it was all about like a religious equality, which I thought was kind of cool. That is cool. Um, okay, now we just have to wait. One cool thing Let's... about like like really like heavy he heavy metal uh, like music and folks is more often than not, I always see like cool stories about someone um who's in that like in in that genre do really cool things like uh, like recently i think it was the bait i i read about the bassist of uh good job the, so the, close but yet so far the, the base of a band called five finger death punch i, I yeah i know five all right death yeah well he uh he apparently saw a cop in distress on the side of the road and he uh he pulled over and gave the cop a hand because um uh, just a hand <laughs> Just, just the tip. Oh no, um, but he he helped the guy out because his car had like had like broken down and he needed help with something, and uh, he came over and gave the dude a hand. Huh. Real nice of him. Yeah, that is nice of him. Well, speaking of which, I read something the other day that there was a there was a doctor that was on their way in to uh, work, and uh, she stopped because she saw an overturned car with six teenagers in it, uh, and they were all you know panicking and, and it was really nasty. But uh, she got hit by a car when she was trying to help them. Oh, uh, that's... Wow. I want to give her a shout out wherever she is. You know, I hope hey. you uh, rest in peace. Hey, shout out, Doctor Who died. That's the Whoa! darkest. That's like some dark stuff right there, man. Somehow you made it worse, though. How did I make it? I was just pointing how? out. How? I don't know. How did you make it worse, Gorman? Well, Good work. Like <laughs> solid effort, making it so much worse. Um. All right, I need that to stop moving. So we're gonna go. Gonna bloop, pull bloop, that get you. Get you a little bit more flaccid. Way. Go. Do. <laughs> down, down, zip down. zap. Yeah, yes. Oh, any, any, uh, any, like, musicians that, oh, hey, look at that. There you go. Oh, nice. And any, any musicians that you know, far. um, that you find, like, inspiring that, like, have, uh, done, like, things that, like, make you feel really good? Are you at, are you, oh, you're I'm asking, asking me. me. Yeah, I'm telling you, uh, like, musicians? I don't know. Yeah, like, 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 musicians in general aren't always, like, role models, but occasionally, like, you find out they do something really cool or really unique. Like, um, as an example, um, no, 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 stop, 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 this doesn't necessarily count as, like, super, like, unique, but I thought it was a cool concept. Um, the lead singer of Maroon 5, 
Uh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Adam Levine. Adam Levine. He uh, he he married a uh, Victoria's Secret model. Yeah, and good I don't for know. <laughs> good job. Yeah, that's real. inspiring right there. Give it back to society. <laughs> I was gonna say they're uh, they're filthy. <laughs> the, the governments I, I of Scandinavia, thank you. Uh, let's say they uh they they're so filthy, wildly rich, and so are all their friends that. For their like wedding uh, uh, registry, registry. I can say I can speak words. The old they, uh, registry. The <laughs> um, they straight up are just like we would just like you to to d donate whatever you can to whatever charity that you like, and we'll match whatever you donate to. There are people. There are. I mean, that that sounds mean, but there are normal people that do that too. Yeah, there are a lot of normal people. I'm just not used to normal people. Shut up! I'm trying to say nice <laughs> things about it. Not used to know people. Shut up! I'm not a jerk. You're a jerk. Jerk. You're, I know you are, but what am I? Uh, oh, excuse me. Rotate me. Thank you. Something you'll hear in the bedroom, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're lot. dealing with Adam. Oh yeah. Ooh, buddy. Because what really turns Adam on is just going stiff as a board and letting his partner just do as they Light please. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Oh, I should have. I did that wrong. It's all right. It comes back around. Just like life. Everything comes back around and you get a second chance. Usually. Occasionally. I mean, you just hit the reset button, right? Talk to your parents. You make sure you want to reset. And then they just shove it back. Right? right? <laughs> they they sh shove what? They what? Where they go? Well, they, they, they shove the me, who, who would have to be, you know. And they put me back in the bundle, right? And then they call the stork. And the stuff ah, comes out, yes. and then you know it takes you back, and then you get to go, and you get a new family, right? And then the store brings a new one. That's the reset button. Yep. And then you just get to reset your parents, and you're all no, no, actually, no! I hit the button. Up. Actually, I uh, round I heard, and round and round we go. I heard there's a lot better way to handle that situation. Let's say, let's say hypothetically, you're like, man, I don't really like my dad. You can just take some naked pictures of yourself and put them in his drawer and call the like police. Damn. Okay. And that, then, that and got then dark. They'll, they'll, they'll take your daddy and you can get a new one. Why did I do that? That was stupid. That was not the, the way to do that, I don't think. Yep. But I've got about a quarter turn. That's a, that's. It's, I'm, I'm establishing timelines. This is like an, a murder investigation. Mm. Oh, hopefully this recharges fast enough. Oh, motherfuck. I might, uh, I'm sorry for the failures, everyone. Come on, go, 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 go. No! Well, don't worry. Someday you'll get it. Someday my pants <laughs> will fit. What? As you just as you just play on this giant I know, hamster it's like, wheel. I mean, honestly, I would enjoy the shit out of playing on this giant hamster wheel. Like, if it were if it were just me. Like, is that is that just a me thing? Yeah. Is that uh, yeah. No. Nobody else. I think okay. it'd be kind of pointless. No, you're alone. Always alone. Forever. Forever alone. Forever la young. <laughs> Forever, you long. Forever, long. No, no. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, that quick finger. Um, now how do I get up there? Fuck. Well, I think that on the next episode you're gonna figure out how to get on there. Yeah, I got, I got terminals and shit this episode. I just didn't call <laughs> attention to it because it was a success thing. I made progress, and yeah, it was, it was something. Yeah, he, he's moving around inside of that giant wet Republican. So but, um, yeah. Things. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you think we put on our pancakes? Answer down below. End of the week, we'll uh, record answers and give shout-outs to people who get it right. Suggest games you want to see us play. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. I'm just going to say bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye.